Well, guys, welcome back to another video on the Traders Fund series. And let me subscribe to Sogbona, your host on this Traders journey. And if you're just watching my videos for the very first time, ensure to subscribe to this channel, touch that subscribe button, give this video a like, and also leave me a comment because I'm sure by the end of this video, there'll be so much amazing stuff for you to take home, right? Because this is the channel where you get to learn how to trade and make money. I had to trade and make money consistently and if you'll be struggling to make money from trading the forex market or trading the crypto market say bye bye to that because that would never be your story anymore because i'm sure by the end of this video you'll be seeing your eyes will be opened to see the money where the money is in the market and how you can position yourself for this big money all right guys so i will say this and there have been a lot of noise in the market a lot of noise and also actually i've not i wasn't really I didn't actually shoot the video last weekend because I just I needed to give the market some space to really do some things. So I, I needed it to do, I need to do some things, I need, I need to see some things I needed to see too, right? Because a lot a lot has happened, that just happened within just these two, these few weeks that uh, uh, the market has been on, right? We have the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank, we have BTC crypto space making a lot of noise, code making a lot of rallies and all that so other persons have been calling send me messages cutting me up on what's going on how do i do this why is, why is this going headed towards the next level what is this and that so i just want to answer all that question here right i don't know because if i leave all your chats my my for you guys to just make my phone explode so let me just answer all that question here in this video and if you're still watching this video you have to give this video a like or subscribe to my channel trust me you're leaving you are you're not doing me or yourself any good, right? So just touch that button, touch that button, right? And also, um, let me just say a little, one or two things before I take you guys to the market because uh, this is really important. Now, how does the Silicon Valley bank collapse affect you as a trader, right? How does it really affect you as a trader? Because this is a very important thing you'd want to know and what is really going on, what's the current state of the market and all that, right? Now, the Silicon Valley, uh, Silicon Valley Bank is a uh, bank preferred by most startups and most capitalist companies to uh, where they really prefer to put their money, right? Where they, they, they are sure the money is safe and all that. But the bank actually did uh, an investment. This bank actually, just like every other bank, do with money that you put in. They invest this money into bonds, right? Into real estate and into other financial assets. So this bank too was not was no exception, right? So. We, we we trading in this space, so playing in this space, we understand that every investment comes with risk, right? So just like every other person, these banks, every other bank does, this bank invested in two different assets, right? And uh, at, at over ninety percent, about ninety percent of their these funds were invested into assets and bonds, right? But then with the Fed increasing, that is the U.S. Central Bank, we call them the Federal Reserve, increasing interest rate in order to cope inflation this now affected the value of their bonds the bonds they bought before and some of the value of the assets depreciated lower right so with that that happening that we shouldn't be that is not supposed to be an issue naturally because we know that the market always goes up and down always go, goes up and down but then the rumor just keeps spreading that these guys are really losing money and this is these guys are really short already and they they uh, don't they don't really have liquidity what i mean by liquidity is that they don't even they necessarily they don't ex exactly have any um, uh, money or cash that is not tied to any asset so for them to ac actually access money they will need to sell those assets that are already in loss because the thing is the bank the banking system is like a Ponzi pyramid for okay? but just like this Ponzi system is legalized because it's more like robbing this to pay this. So for every time the banks you be placing withdrawals and banks pay you, they've had to take money from somebody's deposits to pay you. That's the truth. Right? It's more like robbing Peter to pay, but this is what banks operate naturally, right? But theirs is that they have a backing, which is like the central bank, right? They have the government backing around them and all that but then for this panic and all that i don't know why, why am i even explaining this to you okay let me just do that right <laughs> so that i just get the knowledge and understand what's really happening what's really happening so since they didn't they didn't taste all most of their money were tied to assets that are already down right and with the panic ongoing people a lot of persons we are trying to withdraw and we call that uh we call that bank run remember bank run means more persons trying to withdraw their money from the bank, right, from the bank, 
want to move their money out of their bank because of the panic already created by their their assets being really down, which is not supposed to be a big a big issue. But the fact that they didn't really have enough cash to offset the withdrawals that are, were going on, they had to start selling those assets which were already on a loss, and that was no that was no way to be able to balance the entire cash flow, right? So that actually led to the collapse of uh, the SVB, that is in Silver Silicon Valley Bank. That actually led to the collapse of this bank. So, so what is in for you? What is the what is my point in all this? What is how does this collapse and all that affect you as a trader? That's a major, major thing. Now the thing is as a trader, right? As a trader of them is as as it is with the fall of this major bank this major, this, this SVB is not a small bank, it's a major bank. So with this fall, with this fall, uh, several other banks are also on the line because more uh, would also feel the impact of this fall. Right? Several other banks also feel the impact of this fall because most persons will start getting scared of banks. So currently now, a lot of banks are in trouble. More persons are trying to get their money out of banks because with it, with, if this mighty bank can fall, who, is, who are the other banks that they will not fall? So there is this, at the moment, there's tension. There's tension on a lot of persons are not willing right now to invest into, to put, to, a lot of persons are trying to take their money out of banks to invest into other assets like the crypto space, especially Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB. So you can see the move because for a particular sector to boom, it means that money has to leave another sector. Another sector has need to needs to dump. That's just that's, that is just the reality. That's why it's called currency. It would always flow from one point to the other. Your job is to you is to position yourself within the flow so you can be able to make money off the flow as money is flowing. Right? So as money is now leaving the bank. Banking sector it's coming down to the crypto space. Currently coming down to the crypto space. That's why you can see that's why you see BTC doing some crazy numbers, some crazy moves, some crazy moves at the moment. When it, BTC has is at trading at above 26,500 and nothing stops it from hitting 30k mark. And once BTC breaks that 30k mark, nothing stops it from hitting the all time of 60k. So trust me, guys. It is all a lot. It's all everything amazing. Everything amazing is about to hit the crypto space. Everything amazing is about to hit the crypto space. And I'm showing you guys something also in the GV uh, on BTC. When I'm explaining BTC, right? You got that this quantitative easing, easing that is about that the U.S. government is about to implement, which is releasing two trillion dollars into the economy, right? To um. But this, this is something they did in 2020 during the COVID-19 event and all that because to ease the entire tension within the economy, that's why they'll be releasing this money, injecting this money into the system. Now, how does this affect you too as a trader? This means more persons will have enough money with the boom the already going on in the crypto space. More persons will be willing to invest in this space, which will give it more boost. And this was how PTC moved from 3K to 60K. So if it moves from 3k to 60k and it retraces back, retraced down to 19, 18k, now it's shooting up. Right? The next high it will make will be definitely we're looking at about 200k or so. So do not joke with this about with what is about to hit the speed because the US government is about to implement something really important with the collapse of the of, of banks, of the banking system going ongoing right now. It is all good for you as a trader, especially a crypto enthusiast. Right, guys? So, in the, I'll be showing you guys in the GV my charts, what opportunities to look at for, particularly with some uh, for, uh, some assets around the Forex market and also do some show you exactly what the, what's going on with BTC specifically. So, you can see how you can make money off the entire noise going on in the internet. So, guys, I'll be showing you guys in my next video. Hello guys, welcome back to my screen. Right, so this is the X Y. Like I love to look at it. This is the US dollar currency index, right? US dollar currency index. So this guy shows us the strength of the US dollar. If it is doing well or if it's not doing well. And when this guy is actually dropping, it means that the market generally is booming, right? It's really, really 
boom it means the market that that means more money is being pumped into the market so once this guy is dropping it means more money people are moving money into the market instead right and uh, so i uh, just want to show i was talking about something about quantitative easing situation where the uh U u.s government is injecting money right with taking out money to give to its to its citizens and all that so now to cope uh one way one, one, one uh, you had to in a way cope with uh deal with inflation which actually in a way boosts inflation because inflation it means when you have excess money in the count in circulation so we do, once you have excess money in circulation that is inflation generally right so um this although this what happened due to COVID nineteen right the first the first time this happened was due to COVID nineteen COVID nineteen right so you can see the, you can see that around here around this you can see uh, around here we we'll go to this resistance in March in March during the event of the COVID nineteen that's when it started around second third of March or so you can see the rejection around here before you know month of April this second coin the year month of April you can see the rejection before you know, the market dropped to this point before started picking up and there was a correction on the policy quantitative tightening tightening started happening and market started booming back up to this point all right so now market go to this point we have a strong uh strong uh, you can see that a strong uh evening star right strong kind of uh, kind of sick pattern here so the forest master student understand what i mean by uh, evening star so the forex master students are my students who have access to my mentorship and my course and they really know how to trade and make money from this matter kudos to what they've learned from me right kudos to what they've learned from me all right so this is actually going on uh about to happen again right the market is about to this guy is about to drop again and we're gonna be seeing the market booming right we're gonna be seeing the market booming so if you check the weekly time frame you can see that we we went back up with quickly around they came back down we got here that was kind of which so definitely at least for the meantime we're expecting a, a drop to this point to this resistance here why right? this resistance here okay, let me look at it from the data so it can be clear you can see so you can see that a lot of consolidation happening around the a lot of serious series of consolidation so best say that uh it is not it is actually this with this situation is not a tradable Markets, not a trade market situation, but you can trust some of us now. We know the year what. We know the year what. We want to really make money. Bills are not smiling. So sometimes it's not even just like when you're cooking food, you're seriously hungry and the food is still hot on fire. You just have to want to start. You just want to start eating it from fire. That's what is going on with a lot of people. That's just eating the food from fire. So trust me, you can, you're gonna get. You're gonna. You're, you're gonna get your tongue burnt, but then. Provide this tummy is full, guys. Naturally, also when you can add this guy, for instance, from the daily time frame, you want to, be, you might, you are tempted to see something because I know traders who trade chart patterns and uh, all, and all that, right? You want to see if you want to, you want to start predicting an inverse head and shoulders and all that, but don't be too fast, right? That's why this is why you, you, you don't just depend on technical analysis to project the market. You, you also need to pay attention to the fundamentals. To the macroeconomic data, so what this entire data are seeing, right? Because at the end of the day, the market would respond to them, right? At the end of the day, the market, market will respond to them. Now, I've said that, guys, uh, although, although we have really an obvious consolidation around here, but I want, I'm, I'm very much uh, optimistic. Or let me rather use the word that I'm favoring that this guy will drop down to this point. I think 80% of it, 90%, 80%. Despite this, this is because of what is going on right now, right? What's going on right now? So, because they, I think the US government is actually currently injecting funds. So, they plans to inject about $2 trillion into the, into the system, right? So, in Chile, in, in, injecting that, what would happen is that it will to mean that we have excess money in circulation which is in a way also uh, in increasing inflation right because when you have excess money in circulation the price of assets or commodities price of commodities especially consumables food will become very high right it will become very high and that to mean that um 
more people would want to people that would have to spend more and this in turn would also reduce decline the value of the us dollar so the, pay attention so guys so with the with the event piling up or coming up this means that the us dollar will become weaker so that is why i'm not exactly paying attention to this inverse that shoulders pattern that we are having here so this means that you do, we might be seeing the us dollar falling but my first point is my fall up to this level so the, the worst case scenario is that it should drop massively to this point and if, if that happens it means uh, overall it is good for business it's good for the market because markets we should be expecting it means that we should be expecting more buys in the market right it means that we should be expecting more buys in the market so guys uh going back to these guys uh, maybe use euro usd for instance plenty euro usd from the weekly time frame to show you something so if you look at this guy from the weekly time frame what it actually looks like is this right i'm actually on this trade i'm actually trading euro usd and i've been bullish on it right since uh this week i've been bullish on it so you can see and that means i'm on much on some crazy profits at the moment i'm still holding up to this weekend let me see what the market will do but this one i'm confident about the bullish trade i've shown you guys my what the x y saying and the the fact that the, uh, the u.s government is also also doing what we call quantitative easing which means is injecting a lot of money into the system right injecting a lot of money into the system and it don't uh uh okay let me not just say that let me, let me reserve that for my students right let me reserve that for my students let me not say that here so you can see what happened here is that price came dropped went back up retest and this looks like a break and a retest and we're, we're going to be seeing this guy shooting up to the skies right so uh in the coming weeks of the coming days and the weeks right that's what it means so from the daytime time frame you can see what happened we dropped down we had this massive drop because of f fomc then um f i think this should be this drop was is it fomc or uh Okay, that should this should be FOM CPI. CPI itself, I can't remember. Because I, I don't actually trade news, but I just trade the market and I make my money and I'm done and, and, and I'm off. Right? So you can see this this is a consolidation going on around here. Although still just like what we had around the X, but then I'm certain that this guy is gonna be shooting up by right? shooting up to this point, by right? this green zone here, this green bar here, at least. So I'm still holding this is like my take profit level. So I don't know how long this is gonna take. Am I stop loss is relatively high so i'm confident of the flow right i'm kind of confident of the flow at least i'll be closing some positions around here definitely for safety purpose i'm going to be closing some positions around here around this around this level right it's on the daily time frame now i'm closing some position around this level around somewhere around here somewhere around here so i'll be closing some positions around here right so uh they lock the others and let them float to this my target zone all right so this is just what i'm projecting on euro usd so this is the only guy i'm i'm, I'm on right now and also on new usd card but i will show you i will show you that guy shortly I'm, I'm almost tempted to regret taking that trade but i'm just i'm just i'm just trying to be cool with it so this is uh gp usd gp usd no, normally I've been calling shots. I think like, my, in my last video I was still looking at more of the buys and all that. But then with the, what we are having, it looking like Koto, we are going to be shorting. But with the consolidations going on around there, and this big bullish kind of move here, closing for the week, it's a big, it's a big deal, right? A, although we are obviously on a resistance still. So the thing is on GPYZ, clearly I'm not actually on this side because of this serious uh consolidation is going on because we need to clear out of this zone keep using to clear out of this zone to give us that good move what we need to see so that is why a lot of traders are looking out for shots you know how to catch this long move drop here truth is with what is going on right now in the markets right you might not ex exactly catch that flow that drop you might not see that drop that's the truth i'm not saying it will not happen it's not possible but it should it might i'm not saying it might not happen with what is going on globally right now it might, not, it might be seeing um jpusa pushing up to the ups, pushing to the upside 
right? But we see it pushing to the upside. You see it pushing to the upside. Yes, because the same thing happened when we are here in 2020, when there was quantitative easing. We got at this point, we shot up. Now we are at the same level now again. So in 2020, this is 2021. Sorry, 2023. Sorry. So the same thing you can, you can see on the same zone. So definitely, I'm, this is why I'm favoring the upside. So we're going to be shooting at least up to this resistance. So guys, I'm in with Euro USD for a very long time. A very long time. Right? But this might not happen for so long, anyways. But I'm also, I also want to be careful too. I'm also want to be careful too. You can see that even when the crypto market is already feeling the heat. Right, so these are the two major guys I'm actually looking at Euro USD and cheap USD. Maybe, maybe AUD USD. I've not actually paid attention to this dude, I must confess. Right, I've not really paid attention to uh, AUD USD in a long time. Right, I've not paid attention to it in a long time because this guy is still looking like it's still dropping, looking like it's dropping and all that. So, the reason why I've not really paid much attention to it, so look at it from the daily time frame. Okay, you can see the same consolidation. So this guy you still look like it's shooting to, to this zone or to this trend line before it possibly possible whatever that might happen. So about these circles here, yeah, I was one of those classes I was teaching my my mentees, right? Show my mentees some stuffs in the markets, right, and all that. So now uh, I'm done with them. So guys, uh although naturally Again, naturally, a lot of you guys were expecting that this guy should drop. I'm, I'm telling you guys this from a very, from a factual point of view, not just looking at the charts to predict the market from, but from a factual point of view that this guy is going to be shooting up at least because once you know US is buying, cheap US is buying, AUD US is just a boy. Most it would also buy, right? It also re react accordingly, right? It also respond accordingly. Right, so the thing is, I would love to show, share with you guys how exactly I, uh, uh, why I'm confident and how exactly I, I, I actually penetrate this market. But then, that is an exclusive information with my my teams, right, in, in the forest, uh, mastery community. So I'll be sharing all that with the, all that deeper information with them. So if you guys really uh, uh, want to know or you really want to be a part of the community, the link is down below for you to sign up to be a part of the forex mastery students all the crypto mastery students and now that's a very important information that we pass to you guys after this particular video at the next on my next screen i'll be finding i pass a very important something i know you guys have been waiting for long waiting for so something hot to be cooking for you so stay to the end of this video to see what i'm about to share with you guys so guys so um still on this market still, still on this market so guys like I was saying before, if you have not actually signed up for the Forex Master Program or the Crypto Master Program, please ensure you do so. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, up to this point, you are so so missing out, right? You are so 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 missing out. So if you notice something about this channel, I'm not a scrapper, I'm not using the 22 minutes or sorry, one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes time frames to talk about the market. This is strictly because these higher time frames actually determine the overall flow of the market and this is why I pay attention to, I think this, this is why I trade along with them I, I trade along with them so if you are still here just trying to look for opportunity five minutes you make money but you not you, you won't really get to hit the jackpots so when they hit the jackpot trading lower time frames it means that you have to take in, you have to be taking more risk and lower time frames are very volatile and as I trust me Using like is a, a one one lot size on a 15 minute time frame is really is 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 really really crazy. I won't try that. Right? It's really crazy. I see a lot of you guys doing that, but I can't take that risk. Right? I can't take that risk. I can't take that risk. Right? So it's best a lot of times to just uh look look at the market from the higher time frame perspective. Right? Then plug in using a reasonable size uh lot, reasonable lot size and you are good to go. You see me. You see make the box like I'm doing, why right? you see make the box like I am doing. So the AUD is this one guy I've not really looked at, so he's still looking crazy, not really looking like uh not really looking optimal, 
but I'm actually confident about it. So you can see from here also, from here, from the this is something that happened around here. This is 2020 November. Sorry, guys. This is a free fashion. Okay, let me see something. Okay, this is March 2020. We got here. I'm shut up to this point. So 2023, 2022, up, 2023 here, and here we are now. Okay. Okay, 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 I'm just looking at something. This is like a double bottom, double bottom. Um, this is the, like, this line is like the neckline. We broke it and we test. And after the test, it looks like we want to go to the sky, so, right? Break and we test, and we're about to go to the sky with it, right? So I'm giving you guys free signal. I am so look for opportunity to buy AUD USD. I think just put your stop loss around here, and and she you can be, be able to buy it up to this zone, up to this yellow bar here. Right? So that is that about that although it's speaking really wet so i don't looking at the lower time frame because they can be very deceptive so one other dude i want to look at this us usd jpy right i was supposed to call this dude last week but since i didn't show the video so i couldn't call it for you guys so it actually broke last week broke this uh trend line this is our long bullish trend line process it broke it and we can see more this is still going down. so nothing is stopping you usd jpy from coming down to this zone this point, right? Nothing is stopping it from coming down in this zone. Nothing, right? So we're gonna be seeing this JPY coming down in this zone. Coming down in this zone. Coming down. Okay, I, I don't. I, so that is that about USD JPY, right? USD JPY. That's what the JPY pay I want to look at. So nothing stops it from coming down in this base here before we think about going back up. Why? Uh, I think the one other guy I want to show you guys. I'm, I'm trying to be fast. It's USD card because I took that to it and I'm angry to myself. Why? For taking that trade, really angry with myself for taking the trade. So you can see, I actually didn't throw this my trend line very well. So I was actually thinking it had broken this trend line. So that was why I went for the shots. But overall, it is still bleeding. Right? It's still gonna, it's still gonna. It's, I'm, I'm still confident that this guy is still gonna fall. But right? with what is going on in the market, so if US is falling, this guy is definitely gonna fall. So that is just like my consolation, consolation right now on this pair. But then this pair has not really been, it's, it's not really doing me fine at all. It's not really, it's not doing me fine. It's not really doing me fine because I'm short on it and it's actually, it's actually, uh, uh, it's actually uh, I'm actually negative. That's what actually, I'm actually negative on it, but not serious, not serious. The negative is not serious. So what I'm saying, I'm a negative on it. I'm almost, almost, almost getting geared to my stop loss if case not taking. So I just hope that from Monday that this guy really drops. Right, like it's like I'm expecting it to drop, so I'm still holding the tweet. So you can see I'm still holding this tweet. So this is what well, this is what I was supposed to draw. But well, this was what I was supposed to draw. So this was what I was, was supposed to draw. What I was supposed to do that was my miss. I, I did not draw the trend. So this is why trend lines are really important. Really important. Even the best of us make, make mistakes when drawing it. So if you don't really get, draw your trade lines properly, you would also face the coins in huh, English. Consequences, I mean consequences all jump because right? You definitely face it, face it music. So but then I also that this guy really breaks this trend line and plays down. That is at, at this point I'm, I'm, i have, I just have to use the word I pray. I, I just pray. It happens. That's where that happens. Let's see something. That's no point doing this guy, sorry. So that's just the that's just the way it is right now with me on this on this dude. On this dude, I'm, and I'm so so angry with myself for taking it. Right, for betting on it. I'm so angry with myself for taking this guy. For taking this guy. So that's just that about my tweets and, and all that. But then one other dude gold has been crazy now. Let me just say this. What other persons have been shouting? Why is gold not behaving like other peers, other assets? Blah blah blah. We get a lot of a lot of calls 
some people have been trying to short short goal at different points. Let me go to the forward time to show you. Some people are trying to short goal around here before you no know, pull. Trying to short goal around here again. Look like he's coming down finally before you no know, pull again. So that person have been calling me complaining. Mr. Success, what is going on with gold? Why is gold buying? Why is gold bullish and all that? It's simple, guys. It is simple. Gold is an asset. It's simple. As banks are failing, right, with the crash of uh, uh, SBV, banks, uh, there's, crazy, there's gross panic across the use of banks, right? There's gross panic across the use of banks. People are moving money to assets they trust, their gold and the crypto space. So this is where mo more money are being pumped into gold. As these people are pumping money into gold, gold is, gold is not respecting anything. It doesn't send your technical analysis. It just keeps pumping. Pum, pum, pum. Right? So this is why you don't just depend on technical analysis to do it. You need to pay attention to the fundamentals because these guys can twat, can scatter your technical analysis at any point in time. Right? So put your ears down, put your mind down to hear what is going on globally. Don't just come and punch out and be taken by yourself very recklessly because what happens in the global market is what the chart replicates. Replicates. Right, so that's what they try to replicate. So there's no magic. So at this point, gold is actually on a critical level. But the last time we were on this zone was in, uh, the last time we were on this zone was in April 2022. Now we are here again in March, April, March, right in March 2022, 2023. Please forgive me, oh, do I'm calling all these times a bit in seasons. So we are here. So what do you think will happen to gold? Other persons are still. We want to look for opportunity to short because we are on a key, the key field, we are on a resistance level. See, this uh, there comes a time where, as a trader, right, so your technical analysis is not is not the only thing that will save you. Sentiment, mark sentiment moves the market. Fundamentals also move the market. So it's, these are three, these are the three uh, analysis we use to project the markets. Technicals, fundamentals, then sentiment. So sentiment. With, my, with the current sentiment in the market, it is buy some gold. So I know we're on this critical, on the critical resistance and all that, but I bet you guys I see gold flying the more. If that, if the quantitative isn't really happens, I will see, I will see, I would want to be looking at to actually buy gold the more, not really short. Like a lot of you guys will be projecting to short gold. This is just my personal bias, right? This is just my personal bias. Now, BTC, now let's go about BTC. BTC. This is, the, this is the joy of the moment, right? The crypto space is bubbling, it's going gagas, right? It's going gagas, but I, I, I would let me see how to do justice to something. I want to show you guys some things to, to wow you, to wow you, to wow you. Do you know to something before I talk about what is going on right now? When BTC gave this simile pattern, like this, like this simile pattern, see. Sorry, let me clear this. Look at this pattern. He gave this pattern, came to this one, did this, did this. Right? The next thing that happened was this, was this rally here. Now, BTC at this point now, has replicated the same thing more like an inverse and shoulders. And what is gonna happen, guys? We are heading to the skies, right? We are heading to the skies. So if we move from 5k, right? If it's pretty so able to move from 5k to 60k, and <laughs> guys, from 5k, let me use the word from, from this base here. From 3k, 3872 to 60k. Now imagine what will happen if it moves from 3k to 60k. Imagine what will happen from 17k. Imagine the next high BTC is going to hit. So the, the next bull run is very imminent and it is gonna be very crazy. So if you are not invested into crypto, into BTC, into it, three major pairs I always recommend: BTC, Ethereum, BNB. These are the solid guys I 
you recommend. Any of every other guys are old and highly risky, but these three guys are a lot more stable. So investing in any of these guys, you will be doing yourself a great good, right? But there are other projects I, I only call strictly for my crypto mastery students that we know we are working on that so far so good. We have done over 200% of our portfolio. My students know that already, right? My students already know that already we've done over 200% of our, my, my, our portfolio in the crypto space. So we are still holding, we are still going. We are still going. So guys, at this point, the next bullet is going to be massive. It's going to be massive. So position, take position. This is me telling you guys to take position because more money is, is being pumped in into the crypto space and it is going massive. It's going crazy. It's going, going to be going crazy, right? It's going to be going really, 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 really crazy. And this is because the simple thing, that's the same thing that happened. Quantitative is in the money being the, the, uh, the, the, fall, or the fall of SV Bank, the panic in the, uh, across the banks, people are taking money for, out, out of the banks to invest into crypto because and with, with the issues banks are having, even especially, especially in, uh, in most parts of the world, with Nigeria inclusive, right? More persons trust the blockchain industry because there are no delays in transaction or network problem to transaction and all that. So transactions are smooth and fast without any restriction. Regional restriction. And this is why more persons are coming into the crypto space. And trust me, guys, this space is still very much new. If you're not invested into the crypto space, start doing that. Take up the crypto mastery program and get the knowledge. And you are still early. You are still early. Get the knowledge, get the knowledge and position yourself for the next bull run. And uh, there are a lot of opportunities I'll be sharing with my students. A lot of opportunities I'm sharing already sharing my students already in the crypto space. So if you're not part of that community, you're also missing a lot, right? You're also missing a lot. You're also missing a lot. You're also missing a whole lot. A whole lot. Right, so some persons called me last weekend, Mr. Success, what is going on? And let, let me the thing is see, see, right? The crypto space is one very crazy space. Last weekend, I was what I watched this fall happen, right? But I would, but then I was still confident. I was watching this fall happening. But, but so I tried this drastic drop here from this point, from this area to this point. People are saying BTC to 90, back to 16K, 17K. I was just laughing. 17K, 16K. That's why that's actually part of the reason why I didn't shoot video last week because I need to observe, I need to watch the market respond to the sentiments that was already cooking. And the market did not disappoint. You can see the, the response. While other people were looking, so we are shorting. A lot of persons. Lost a lot of money shorting BTC. A lot of persons lost money selling, shorting because they saw the drop. Ah, it was it was gonna come down at this point. A lot of sellers are liquidated. A lot of sellers are currently are liquidated. But this is why you don't just draw. You don't just in this space. If you must succeed, don't just trust technicals. Don't just hold technicals. Don't just hold technicals. Pay attention to the fundamentals. And pay attention to the sentiments going on around the market. But it's going, pay attention to the narrative too, pushing the market. So I think you must need to pay attention to. If don't, if you don't, if we don't understand narrative trading, you cannot succeed in the crypto space. And this is part of the crypto mastery course, right? This part of the crypto mastery again. The forex mastery program, the crypto mastery program. These are the best investments you've been making on yourself, in yourself this year. If you've not taken any of these courses, please, the link is down below from the description. So again, I'm begging you because I really want you guys to make money like I am doing, right? To make this, I'm not, I'm, it's, it's not magic. I, I would want, I want to, I love to show you, I want to show you how to do this thing the way I am doing it. I'm tired of seeing traders losing money every now and then. Let's make this money together, right? Let's make this money together, guys. So guys, I think that's, uh, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video, so don't go anywhere because I have a very important information I need to pass across to you. So stay glued to, to this video. Hello guys, welcome back to my screen. I trust you guys got so much value from this particular video. You've seen how exactly the fall of the Silicon Valley Bank is actually affecting the market and how as a trader you can position yourself for the massive opportunity that this fall brings, right? Because money as is flowing currently from 
financial from uh, the banks, right? But from banking is right from the banking sector to to assets like the crypto assets and even gold. And this is why the market is still reacting and responding the way it is right now because more persons ask out with that. That's why they panic around the banking system. And more persons are really like, taking their money up there to put in something they feel it's within their control and it is sustainable, right? So and this is what is actually going on. This is why you are seeing all the rallies, all the bullish calls in the market. I remember I told you guys I have very important information information to pass across to you guys. Now, this is it, guys. Currently, we are working on our own platform, guys. We are actually building our own website. So you don't need to send me WhatsApp messages or emails from, from with our websites, right? You can directly access our course on your own. You can actually set up the mentorship program for yourself and you can have me with you as within the duration of your program. So we have the different we have the different mentorship plans. We have the one month plan, we have the three uh, six months plan. We also have the one year plan. So it means that for the one year plan, which is a premium package, you can have me to yourself for one year for coaching, monitoring, mentoring, signals, everything you need to be a profitable, everything you need to win big in this market, you would have me for all that duration for just a token, a one-time token. Right? So isn't that amazing? Isn't that incredible? I'm sure I'm also excited about all that we are building with you guys because you guys are the reason why we do what we do here. My goal here is to make sure that you, you, you skip, become the, uh, live the dream, your life, your, your, live your life, uh, your, your, your life, I mean your dream life, right? That's what you use. Live your dream lifestyle that you really want. All those flash lifestyle you aspire to trading the financial market. Uh, my goal is to make sure you achieve that, right? Drive the best cars, Build the best, the best houses. Pay your school fees. Take care of your siblings. Take care of your parents. That is it. That is why we do what we do here in this market. Right? That's why we play this game. And also, if you're watching this video up till now and you have not subscribed to this channel, trust me, you are doing yourself bad. You are you're really, really shooting yourself on the foot. Please ensure to subscribe to this channel. Turn and also turn on notifications so you can get to see more of my amazing videos. Like this video and also leave me a comment on what lessons what new stuff you've learned from this video and what is the takeaway lessons for you I would, I would love to see that and trust me i would definitely comment on after on your comment right i'll definitely reply your comment and also uh one other very important information also is this guys that uh we do the currently we are still running our, our mentorship programs monthly so every uh, batch registration is still on for the for those who will be taking up uh the the training for the mentorship for April. So it means that you can right now you can still sign up for the program, right? And it is cheaper. And this is when this is where it is cheapest, right? With for within for three months, you can get me, you can get all my attention and time for just two hundred dollars for three months. You can have me, we can have you have access full lifetime access to the course and also have access to me for just three for just $200. So that is relatively very, really, really cheap with where we are headed to right now. So guys, so if you've not taken advantage of this offer for the Forex Master Program and the Crypto Master Program, you are losing a lot. You're already missing out, right? You're already missing out. Save yourself the stress of trying to crack or rack your head around the market. Learn from the best and then to do it like the best, right? So guys, I think that's all I have to share with you today. So I'll be seeing you guys next week. So till then, stay profitable. Stay excited with the market because this is where we'll make the money. Right? This is where we'll make the money.